Welcome back, everybody. Today we got some exciting news. C Google Chrome <laughs> has been hacked. This is fantastic. Sam, you use what? You use Opera GX? Yeah. All right. Well, but you still... Okay, so was this just Chrome, not Google? Oh, uh, wait, because it's, it's Chrome. Chromium-based. Is this affecting you, too? I didn't. Uh, You're going to have to figure that out. Oh. Updates on, so I think it should be good. Okay, Google patches its fifth zero-day vulnerability of the year in Chrome. Google has updated its Chrome browser to patch a highly high-severity zero-day vulnerability that allows attackers to execute malicious code on end-users' devices, basically allowing them to do whatever, whatever you want to their devices. Luckily, it's been patched, so I recommend that you update your browser so that you don't get hacked. Uh, but this is horrible. This is the fifth one this year? Or, yeah, fifth one this year. We're only five yeah. months into the year. They've had five zero-day vulnerabilities. Horrible. Yeah, really. Um, I love this guy's fingerprint. Let's steal it. Right here. You see this this image? His finger's oh, just yeah. in it? Yeah. It's great. We just hacked him. Boom. There you go. Okay. Um, well, there you go. That's our main topic, everyone. But we got a lot more news coming up later in the show, so stay tuned. All right, so on this day in 1975, Sony introduced the Betamax format. It would compete with VHS and videotape format war. Eventually losing, though, because it, it wasn't better than VHS. All right, I got a little image of it. This isn't... Oh, this is an image of it. Okay. Uh, there you go. It's on screen now. Let me zoom out. That was a Betamax tape. Um, and you could play movies and... Yeah, I think really just movies on it, right? If you went to the video store and you yeah. bought your videos, you would, you know, you're good. Um, uh, wow, what's it called? Um, uh, the video, you know, that old video store. Um, Blockbuster. Blockbuster. If you went to your good old Blockbuster and picked up a movie, you could have picked up the good Betamax. All right, Sam, you use a Betamax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what do you use, Sam? A VHS tape or a Betamax? <laughs> All right. Well, uh, here's our big three topics. On Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific time, OpenAI will demo new features for both ChatGPT and GPT-5. CEO Sam Altman denied reports that the company was preparing to announce a rival search engine product ahead of Google's AI-IO conference. Okay. This is wild, guys. We talked about this, by the way, uh, the, yeah. the, the search engine that might be coming. Um, but Sam Altman now saying it's not. T-Sarp, fake news, officially. The T-Sarp show gives the <laughs> fakest news in the world. Um, all right, no, um, we don't know. He denied it, but it doesn't mean it isn't coming. We'll have to see on Monday when they do this. 10 a.m. Pacific time is 3 p.m. here, so we can watch it, Sam. You going to tune in? Wow. Uh... Maybe. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Microsoft is launching its mobile game store in July. This is exciting. Microsoft uh, owns Xbox, obviously. I hope you all know that. Um, but this is going to go on to the... Uh, maybe... Is this Android and Apple? Or just... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's both, yeah. Okay. Um, and, yeah, so if you didn't know, in Europe, you can now have third-party app stores on, the, on iPhone. So... Epic Games is already working on one. Now Microsoft's working on one. I wonder if this is going to make, like, Apple angry. You know? You think Apple's going to not like Microsoft? I think like Apple's already angry. Y yeah, you're right. Apple doesn't like Microsoft. Microsoft's now beating them for richest company in the world. So I get it. I get it. This guy, M Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer, we should have him on the T-SARP show soon. It would be epic. All right. Um... Yeah, we should invite him on. Maybe he'll talk. Maybe he'll talk about all the Epic Games in the game store. But probably not. All right, let's move on uh, to, to EA, which is also isn't EA owned by Microsoft? No, no, I'm wrong. No, I'm wrong. I think so. Double check that, Sam. Um, EA is prototyping in-game ads even as we speak. Basically, you're gonna be playing your favorite Battlefront, right? And then boom. Ad. Can you believe that? 
Oh, Sam, they are separate, but they do work together. Gotcha. All right, Sam, do you play any EA games? Uh, can you give me a few examples? No. Um. Okay. Fall Guys. Fall Probably Guys not. is an EA game. Is it? No. Why would you believe that? <laughs> All right. Anyway. I didn't think it was. Yeah. So, uh, Electronic Arts is what EA. EA stands for, has long, storied history of trying to wringing more money out of gamers after they purchased a game. Now it appears that the company's hard work, hard work, hard at work on its next generation of in-game ads. EA CEO Andrew Willison, all great name. Well, great first name. Last name, eh. Um, admitted as much on the company's quarter four earnings call when an analyst asked about the market opportunity for more dynamic and insertion across more traditional triple A games. He said the company is already working on it. Can you believe that? Soon, you're going to go on to your favorite game, and you're going to, you know, AAA games. I mean, these are big games, not not phone games, not little online games. I mean, we're talking real big games. Um, and there's just an ad. Oh, God, I couldn't imagine that. That would ha be horrible, honestly. That's like, Sam, I'll put it in your, your perspective. You go on Fortnite. You're in the middle of, a, middle of the epic battle royale, and then, boom, mm -hmm. ad pops up on your screen. That's oh, what they're doing. To buy Fortnite Premium. Fortnite Premium. Yes, that's a thing. Wild. Search it up. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. Hold on. Uh, all right. Let's see what else we got. Um, uh, speed run topic. Windows 11 settings menu will soon include a Game Pass ad. It'll appear for users with Windows 11 Pro and home versions. Sam, what do you think? I hate it. I, I hate it. The settings menu shouldn't be advertising anything. Yeah, I mean, what's with this with AI and Windows? Why, why are there balloons popping behind me? Those, <laughs> those aren't gunshots, <laughs> if you can hear them. Oh, my oh God. God. Those are balloons, people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. There's ads. I can't believe this. More ads coming. Windows 11 ads. Uh, EA ads. This is horrible. All right. Yeah, you can see on screen. There's a little discover your next favorite game ad in the settings menu. Horrible. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why they're doing this. Honestly, why are why with all these ads? All right. Uh, OpenAI will soon ask you for permission to use your content. That's good. With its new tool, Media Manager, creators and media companies can opt out of OpenAI's training data set. So basically, if you don't want your data stolen, it doesn't have to. That's good. Finally, we got a good topic today, Sam, where companies are doing the right thing. Oh, T-Sarp will always do the right thing. Don't you worry, people. Um, yeah. Apple's big focus on AI next month is not a secret, but rather than building a bot with personality, it seems more interested in just Siri doing Siri things. Um, okay, big AI focus. That's great. And I guess they've, they've said this publicly at this point? Uh, yeah. Okay, definitely. perfect. Uh, so it's just going to make Siri doing siri things i don't even know what do they mean by siri just doing siri things like it does what it can do now but better gotcha so it's not gonna make a whole new bot it's just mm. making siri do better gotcha and all we'll right we'll be able to uh, summarize text messages in the next update though which is pretty cool that's good yeah i think we talked about that already uh yeah they're focusing yeah. on making siri better at handling tasks that it already does including settings timers creating calendar appointments and adding items to a gross li grocery list it also would be able to summarize text messages awesome all right well i believe that's pretty much it it's my sister's yeah. birthday today happy birthday to her is that where there were gunshots in the back no those weren't gunshots those were balloons popping <laughs> they are setting up for a party <laughs> <laughs> okay um well that's pretty much it you got a quick episode today happy, people happy Ten friday minutes. everyone happy friday everyone we'll be back on monday like we normally are but that's why i was a little quick because i have a party to get to. Um, but thank you all for watching. We got a highlight coming out later. We have a short already out, so go check those out. And we'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, everyone.